Alright, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Now, when we last left off, we had just shown that dad who's who's who. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and push these um, milk cartons that the dad just, uh, um, Tala just delivered to this place. That I guess never get used, which is totally okay, I guess. <sighs> This game is very fun, it's just that some of the things can be kind of tedious. Like getting all the stuff and park pieces. But in the end, it will be all fun and worth it. And the most tedious thing in this entire game, I gotta say, is the horse ranch, horseback um, archery thing. That's gotta be the most tedious thing in the entire game imaginable. Alright, well, I wanna hurry if I'm gonna make it there on time. So, because it's starting to get night already, and you can't really go there at night. Okay, and for this part I'm going to need to concentrate. Ooh, that was a close one there. Gotta be a little more careful. You know on the, um... The, the actual Nintendo 64 version. You see how there's water over there on that side right there? Well, that would be all blacked out, basically. But I guess they probably added that texture in with the game, new GameCube version. I just wanted that red one. <laughs> it just worked the most. That much is certain. Come on, move already, guard. Well, it looks like I made it without a hitch. Looks like I can already go this way. That's so nice. I can wait a little longer, I guess. Alright, I'm good to go. Castle Courtyard. Now I'd like to point out some Easter eggs. Now, ooh, that was a little scary, it jerked. All right, I, could, I thought it froze there for a second. All right, now if you shoot this window with a uh, guard will say, hey, don't cause any trouble. And he throws a bomb at you, so you better run. It's easy to avoid, but anyway. And over here, there's got there's some Mario characters here. They got, of course, Mario, Bowser, and um, Luigi. And, um, let me see here. And I think that's Peach and Yoshi. Okay. Yeah, I'll play some Mario. Let me put away my slingshot before I talk to you. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then are you are you from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yes, I do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were be billowing billowing over the land of Hyrule, blowing, blowing, okay, over the land of Hyrule, but suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. 
The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay, then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three gold goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal, royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I had I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from, from the desert far to the west. Though he swears a, allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that cover the Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we are planning yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he did not believe, didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that evil man's intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate 
that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I am sure it will be helpful to you. Alright, I, re I received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Okay, we know how to do that. We're not dumb, because it's already set there anyway. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid of to talk to her. Did you say anything else? No, that just stays the same dialogue, okay. I am Impa of the Shikais. Shikais. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. You have learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Much obliged for the help. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakarikar Village. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mystic mysterious power only royal family members are allowed to learn this song remember it will help to prove your connection with the royal family the princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones all right we're counting on you I got it So, I guess we go ahead here. There's nothing really I can do yet. I guess besides that, I could do that. But I'll do that later. Alright, so, I guess we're heading up to. Oh, great. Oh, good. That's great. It tried to freeze again. Okay.
It's a photographic memory thing, I think, again. Kakariko Village. Boy, he runs fast. Ding dong, ding dong. I am a clock soldier of Kakariko for the current times. Hello there, son. Zelda's attendant, the Great Impa, opened this village to the common people. We have only a small population now, but someday this place will be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yes, it will. Climb up the stairs at the north end of the village to find the trail that leads up to Death Mountain. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. I do, huh? Now, let's go ahead and pick up this chicken, us cuckoo. Alright. Because there's a lady we want to bring it to. Uh, I am the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village and they are not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Okay. That's nice to know. Now well, let's take this cuckoo into this pin over here. My cuckoos have run away. Please catch six more. Alright, I'll do that. I could have used that cuckoo, but you know... There's other ones I could use. Like the one hidden in this little box over here. Oh, uh, come here, little cuckoo. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just gonna put you back in your pen. I have no idea how you got in the box, but okay. But right now, I'm going to use you for something else. You better believe it. And also, before I actually do go up Death Mountain, there's something I want to do in the graveyard. Yep, you learned it. Alright. Go ahead and throw him out there, that way. If I'm not careful, I'll fall into a hole that's down there. Which is a good place for a little bottle trick that I learned. That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and hop up here, shall we? Ow. Mortal Link. He likes to get those head concussions, doesn't he? Alright. Let's go around here and fly up this way. Shall we? I wonder if I'll make it all the way to the pen. Wouldn't that be cool if I do? I did. That's cool. Alright, now there's one over there. I'll probably get him last, though. And technically, there is a way to jump over there, but I don't remember what the steps are to do that. Nothing in there. Though I do see some little bottles over here. Thank you, now I've got 66 of them. Alright, now. Go ahead and put this one in there. Alright, 
Come here, you cuckoo. I need you to get over here. Of course, if I were to shoot you, you would have moved that way too. So I also could have shot you with a Deku nut or whatever. Come here, Kuko. Alright, let's go talk to this nice, fine little lady over here. My cuckoos have run away. Please help me bring the last... Oh, there's one more. Okay. There's one more. Oh. That's right, because I forgot one, didn't I? Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so well, why are you even in this business then? So I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I will give you this to to give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. Why thank you. The fourth empty bottle is gonna be the most tedious one, but you know, it's a long ways off, so. Now and here is the house of the Skultulas. So, just to let you know that. House of Skultulas, but we can't do nothing here yet. So anyway. And all the cuckoos are back out already. Such a waste. Alright. Let's go see what's in that one house over here. Oh, that's kind of a creepy mouth. Hi, boy. Is this the first time you visited this village? Why, yes it is. A great room of Impa opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. Food isn't it ready yet, though. I'll keep that in mind. But it's kind of depressing living in a house all by yourself. Alright, well. I guess I could learn the sun song after I... Do the uh, Death Mountain quest. Let me see something real fast. So I need four. I don't know if I'm able to actually get four heart pieces. Just wait a minute. Actually, I am. Let me see. There's one, two, three. Uh, forget it. I'll get it later. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta get this. Okay. Oh, this is sure. This. Oh, this is. This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay. Alright, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't re I don't expect you to do it. It just because I'm a, the great tip. Because of the great tip. 
just I just gave you. I'm just asking. I've I've have you seen uh, have you been to the Happy Mask shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay. But, well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sigh. All right, well, I want to save my money, so. Oh. I'm just going to head to the graveyard and get a free one, a free Hylian shield. I'm not going to talk to you, Navi. I know exactly what you are going to say. Just to let you know that. Graveyard. Alright. Well, clearly I can't do this during the day, I don't think, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Let me see here. Nope. Damn pay won't let me. So, I guess I will be going to the town market. But I still want to get it free because I don't want to waste any money. So, I guess while I'm there I can check out the Lon Lon Ranch. I don't see why not. Besides, there is a piece of art there I do want to get. So I guess I can. I don't see why not. Yeah, Navi, I know. Do I look like an idiot to you? I didn't think so. Alright, well, let's go and check this out, shall we? Looks like it's already getting night, so... I guess I might as well just head back then, shit. <laughs> okay, that was a waste of time. Uh, bother. I swear. Boy, it sure doesn't say day very long once you leave a certain place, does it? Let's just wait here. Yeah, don't mind those idiots. Alright, it's night now. We're good to go. Oh, who's this? Hmm. Ah, people are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgust. If anybody's disgusting, you are. Because look at you. You look like a freaking corpse. In any event, not to mention old. It's weird. Your old man's like real fat. And you're like, I hear something. I guess before we go to the graveyard, we might as well get all we can in this little ordeal. Gotcha, you little booger. Nice, I'm aware that I destroyed the son of a gun. I almost forgot about these guys. It's kind of sad. Don't want to forget about them. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a token proving I killed him. It's nice. Alright, well, there's still one more I want to get, but I'll get him after I get done getting my Hylian shield. I'll get him on the way up there. Sounds awesome, I guess. Yeah, there's Dampe. I don't see why we, sh why we shouldn't try it, I guess, just once. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dampy, the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, 
but I'm not a, a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dampy the Gravekeeper's Heart Pounding Grave Digging Tour. What's it gonna be? What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out when we when I start digging? Will will we find out? We'll find. Okay. D yes, I want to Let's see what I get. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Well, it looks like I missed him at the graves. Check me out. Well, it's a grim sky though, but that's okay. Yeah, it looks like this is it for this episode though, so. Ah, got me a free Hylian shield. Alright. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And thanks for watching.